ventilator, but installing energy efficient windows saves money, keeps you warm. I guess the title kind of gives it away a little bit. I got a lot of good suggestions for what I could do with the veneer, you know, projects that I could build. But I got to thinking, mainly because I'm watching all of the Game of Thrones episodes again for the second time. Yeah, I do that kind of thing. And I'm also reading the books. I'm halfway through the second one. And I thought a neat project to make in general, and in particular to use that walnut veneer for the top, would be a Westeros table. It's a table, you know, something like, uh, you know, St uh, Stannis had in Dragonstone. Is that where he is? I forget. Is it Storm's End or Dragon's End? One of it, one of those ends or stones, you know, one or the other. That table seen prominently in a few scenes, not quite as big. I was thinking more along the lines of coffee table size. So, Without further ado, let's have a look at what I got. What I did was I downloaded a map and I enlarged it with big print to fit on this piece of MDF, which is 24 inches wide. But the table itself will be this size. It stops at the wall and it ends right down at the bottom of Westeros. The first step to making this would be to cut out all these lines, even up these rivers that go inland. And then I'll have pieces that I'll glue onto the substrate here that I can cut that out. I'm just going to take the time now to kind of outline where I want to make the cuts because I want to cut outside these lines and then take the chisel and sculpt that back down through to give the coastline some texture. So that's the basic idea. I really don't have anything in mind for the base yet. I tried watching the videos to see if I could see the base that's on that big table. Not that I could actually copy that because it's probably way too large to, you know, be suitable for this. But I do need something that's um, going to fit in with the way this is going to look. So I've been giving it a lot of thought. Any suggestions you have would be nice. Um, I thought about a, a you know, kind of gothic looking trestle or just a kind of a sculpted base that would kind of mimic the shoreline, the layers of MDF stacked up and then cut out and then I would stain that a really dark color so that you couldn't tell it was MDF. A lot of cutting with the jigsaw, a lot of work with the chisels afterwards. When it's all glued down to the substrate again, even these little islands here, then I can cut out the veneer, lay it on top, glue that down, and then what I'll do is I'll cut out the follow of the shape. It's going to be quite an involved project. Um, you might be asking why am I doing this now. Well, uh, all I ever do, you know, mostly that you guys see are shop projects. I thought this would be something different, something interesting. A dusty deal, I tell you. Not a big fan of MDF, but it has its uses, and I couldn't think of anything else that you could sculpt the edge of, and it would look as good. I thought about plywood. Plywood would look kind of crappy, I guess. So, MDF it is. And what I'll do is I'll sculpt it back with the chisel. It'll be a lot of chisel work. I also changed my mind on the type of veneer I'm going to put on the surface. I'm thinking I'm going to use the cherry veneer instead of the walnut, and... Along the shoreline, I will take the uh, torch and do the 1970s effect, maybe scorch it a bit. I'll try that out first and see how that looks on a sample before I go ahead with it, though, because I'm not 100% on that yet. Also, when you laminate uh, veneer on there, whatever glue you use will kind of you know get destroyed with the heat from the torch so that's another thing to think about so a pretty good start that doesn't mean that I'm not doing any of my other projects you know this is going to be um, ongoing thing like everything else some today it might you know sit for a couple of days it might sit for a couple of weeks it might sit for a month before I get to another part of it but that's the nature of this channel I'm going to be doing projects like this from here on out, 
Now, in the end, this will be a full build on my other channel, hopefully, if I can get it all videotaped correctly. I got these other cutouts here. They got the, you know, these are the iron islands here, and I've got to cut those out, but I'll do those on the van saw. And, you know, I've got to keep my eye open for them. There's a few. There's Tarth here, and the arbor here and Shagos there that I've got to actually move down a little bit to get it in the corner of the table. Uh, for the general shape of the table, I'm thinking that it will kind of follow the shoreline but in a more general and a more gentle manner. It's almost like, okay, here's your continent here and then your ocean goes out so far at a certain depth and then it drops, you know, real deep. And that would be like your continental shelf, I guess, is what it's called. So the substrate that this thing sits on will kind of mimic that.